Right, hello and welcome back once again to Jamie's Running. Today I would like to talk to you about the runner's knot. Let's get into it. Right, so the runner's knot is something that I've referred to on a few of my videos. Anytime I'm talking about a new pair of shoes, I'll reference the runner's knot. And it dawned on me that I've never really given an explanation as to what this is. I get the question quite a lot on my Instagram channel, at jamies.running. If you don't already follow me, check it out. And so I figured I'd put a quick tutorial video together to cover off A, what is the runner's knot? B, why do I use it? And C, how do you do it? So first off then, what is the runner's knot? Well, it's a knot that allows you to get a really Really secure fit on your running shoes, particularly around the back of the heel, which where in the past I've often had a lot of issues with an insecure fit. My ankle would slip up and down within the shoe and I never really felt as though I was really held in place. On investigating a little bit I came across something called the runner's knot, applied it and that was it for me. I never looked back and now anytime I'm able to I will make sure I've got the runner's knot applied in my running shoe. Now that's not to say that every single pair of running shoes can accommodate a runner's knot. They can't and I'll come on to why in a moment. But for those that do, it just allows me to get a really, really secure fit, a nice lockdown feeling around the back of the foot and the Achilles and in the heel. And that to me translates to additional comfort during the run. Now then, which shoes can accommodate a runner's knot? So for that, I've got a pair of the Nike Vaporfly Next Percent to illustrate. Now, if you consider the lacing system on this shoe, it's traditional in the sense of you've got your eyelets coming up the side there and at the top, you've got these two eyelets which are in close proximity to one another. And it's this that we're looking for when it comes to applying the runner's knot. And what an applied runner's knot looks like is this. Now what you find in some shoes, so I will take the Alpha Flight Next Percent as an example, is that you don't have that double eyelet at the top of the shoe. And so because of that, you can't do a runner's knot. And another example is the Nike Tempo Next Percent. Again, there's no double eyelet at the top of the shoe and therefore you can't apply the runner's knot. You'll see here in the Saucony Endorphin Speed, you can apply the runner's knot. What we've got there at the top is the double eyelet. And now I'll come on to how to actually tie it. So most of the time when you receive a new pair of shoes, they will already be laced up. It may be that they're already laced up all the way to the top or all the way up, except for the two top eyelets there. But where we need to start in order to do the runner's knot is to remove the laces from the top two eyelets and then let them hang down either side of the shoe like this. And what we want to do next is to pull the lace from one side of the shoe and starting inside the shoe come out of that first eyelet. You then want to create a loop and go straight into the second eyelet and back to the inside of the shoe like this. You'll see that that creates a little loop on the side of the shoe. We want to repeat the same thing on the opposite side with the other lace. So we go out and then we're gonna go straight back in. Again, creating a loop on either side. Now, once you've created your two loops either side of the shoe, you take the end of the lace and you want to thread it through the loop in the opposite side of the shoe. So we'll take it from this side and we will thread it through the loop on the opposite side of the shoe, like that. Do the same with the other side. So take the end of the lace and thread it through the loop on the opposite side of the shoe and start to pull it tight. Now what this has done has created a mechanism for you to cinch the back of the shoe down using the laces. And what I mean by that will become apparent when I put them on. So when it comes to putting the shoe on, you'll find that you need to loosen the laces off, particularly in something like the Vaporfly, which are fairly tight anyway to get on. So loosening the laces right off, slip your foot into place, make sure the tongue is where it needs to be. And then what you're gonna do in order to tighten it is you just pull one side at a time and this is the cinching movement. And what that's doing is it's giving you a real lockdown feel around the back of the heel here. So once you've cinched down to a point at which you feel really secure, that's when you tie a regular knot. I suppose what you might want to do just for added security is to go in for a double knot, just to make sure it's definitely not coming loose during the run. 
But for me now, that is pretty much absolutely locked down in place. There's no movement there whatsoever. Now, when it comes to that cinching down, just take your time. You don't want to go too tight and feel uncomfortable during the run. Just take it nice and slow to the point at which you feel really comfortable. And there you can see we have a lovely secure fit. And so there we have it, the runner's knot. And this for me has become an absolute essential. It's a fantastic way of making sure you get that great security of fit around the back of the ankle. And for me, it just makes the running a lot more comfortable without the ankle slipping up and down during the run. What I've also noticed as well is it helps to prevent laces coming undone, particularly when you're putting in a little bit more of an effort. Now, other options that I've used to combat that as well are self-tying laces. For example, this set from Lock Laces. And even though the Pegasus 37 has that double eyelet at the top, what I've done instead is I've put these elasticated laces in, which have a little toggle system on the front. They're flexible. They allow you to slip your foot inside a little bit more like a slipper and there's no chance of them coming loose. You pull the toggle to tighten them and then they stay pretty much in place. The only downside to this is that the laces are a little bit elasticated and you don't really have a hugely secure fit. What I tend to use self-tying shoelaces for are my easy run shoes. If I want a really nice secure fit, I go for the runner's knot without a doubt. So let me know in the comments below, have you tried the runner's knot? Are you going to try it? Or do you have an alternative solution that I haven't yet considered? Let me know down below and thank you again for watching comment like subscribe all of that sort of great stuff share this video with your friends and i look forward to seeing you on the next one you.